What's up guys, this is Oblivion Pot. Well actually, I, I should really stop doing like introduction stuff because more than likely I'm just gonna, you know, still play and just like put them in parts. I'm not really gonna introduce like, oh this is part 5 or part 6. So, so you guys are wondering how, why it's taking me so long to get the stinking Dark Brotherhood to start, which is really annoying. But Join. No, don't be shy. Fighters Guild, lol. Training. Who's this? Go ahead. But I just leveled up. I think I'm pretty sure I leveled up. Excellent. I'm sure you'll be quite satisfied. Go upstairs and look for the door on the right at the end of the hall. Sleep well. All right. So upstairs to the bed on the right I'm not sure if she's talking about this one um oh okay this works close the door Sleep uh, just for one hour. But yeah. Oh, what? You sleep rather soundly for a murder. What? That's good. Uh. 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 <laughs> 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 How? I didn't. I didn't kill an innocent person. Are you serious? That's what I've been trying to do in the past four episodes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. I'll take it. <laughs> what the heck, game? Okay. Um. If I watch any of those parts that I uploaded, uh, I'll have to go back and see if I actually killed someone. Wow, that that's just crazy. I have no idea who I killed. That's what I've been trying to do in these past episodes to get the stupid quest to start. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I'm just glad I finally got this. A knife in the dark. Awesome. Oh, Blade of Well. Whoa, he just turned invisible. Look at him. He's Wow, he's invisible. That's that's freaking awesome. <laughs> that's cool. Wow, sweet. We got the blade of woe. So apparently in here, the blade of woe you get really quickly. This does like the same damage as my iron dagger, but I think it gets better the more um you're like um doing in your whatever the more farther you are in the Dark Brotherhood. So finally we got something legit in this video finally. Actually gonna do something, get something done. Alright, so where do we have to go? Oops. Still trying to get used to the map. 
Alright, so apparently we have... Wait. I'm not even sure my quest marker is set on the right thing. Oh, sweet. Oh, I've not found this location yet. Okay. Just gotta travel here. Awesome. So finally we're doing uh, the Dark Brotherhood. Only took us four episodes to get this. <laughs> Probably would have been shorter if we um slept randomly and realized we apparently killed someone. If you guys can leave me in the comments if you remember killing or remember me seeing killing an innocent person, I would appreciate it because I have no clue that I killed someone. I don't even remember. I mean, there were some failed attempts. <laughs> I'll give you that. But did they have like last stand or, or something? Like in Call of Duty? They were just like lay on the ground. Sooner or later they died. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Games are just getting weirder every time I'm playing them. So we finally got the Blade of Wall. So far so good. But I do want to get my mysticism up. I'm not sure how I'm trying to grind that out, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't take long because I do have the Mage Stone, which lets me get more faster experience points for magic skills. So good thing I picked the Mage. Some people are kind of a little like iffy about the decision I made, but. I mean, if I were to choose a thief, I mean, the thief skills are really easy to level up, honestly. I mean, so are magic, I guess, but sneaking is just so easy. You sneak around and it just, like, it just shoots up in the XP bar like no tomorrow when you're just crouching. Like, if I were to walk to this location, just crouching, I'm pretty sure my sneaking would go up by, like, a couple levels of just doing this. Because that's how easy it is to level it up. But yeah, um, I'm liking Oblivion so far, even though we haven't really done much, but I'm already liking this game. I mean, I kind of prefer... Someone's seen me. Oh, those are just animals. Yeah, but we're not gonna... We're gonna start walking now. Yeah, but I kind of like Skyrim a little better. Uh, that that's no surprise, obviously, but, um... I like Skyrim a little better, not saying I dislike Oblivion, I actually like both games. This is probably a shrine, huh? Talos? That's a... Yeah, I'll pray to that. But, yeah. I can make an argument that Skyrim is not the best Elder Scrolls game. Which is completely true. <laughs> Reason being is because... You know, I'm going to go... It sounds like I'm going to be going to a whole rant. But the reason why I kind of didn't like Skyrim... Was because... The guilds in that game were... If you notice all the guilds you did in Skyrim... Have you noticed? Like, all the... Guild masters or leaders always died. Like, for Astrid and the Dark Brotherhood. Um... What's his face? Uh, Kodak from the Companions. And then the Archmage died. But yeah, it was like. It was really um, weird. I'm gonna wait till at night. Um, 10. Yeah, that should be enough, right? He should be falling asleep at this time. But yeah, the Archmage in the College of Winterhold in uh, Skyrim died as well. Not to mention that Maribel girl died too. And then Mercer Fry from the Thieves Guild died. 
So it, it's just like really crazy. Okay, Rufio is apparently. All right, I'm gonna wait till midnight. He should be falling asleep. Okay, for some reason he's still there. Wait, that's not it. That's not Rufio. I thought that was Rufio. Aw, oh, man. We're so close. Alright. Okay, that is apparently not Rufio. <laughs> Am I in the right place? That's a question. Where the heck is he? I'm confused. Is he in here? Wait, am I even in the right place? Yeah. It says... I'm in the right place. Oh. Is he down here? Oh, okay, yeah, he's definitely over here. Alright, I'm gonna save. Just in case things go turn out to be bad. We should get this. Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo! Killed him! Oh yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me close this door. And yeah, so pretty ironic he has a bed, so we're just gonna sleep here. And Lucien should be popping up. Yep, there we go. The deed is done. How do I know this? You'll find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things. But you are now part of the Dark Family. Now, heed these words. The stain of Rufio is the sign of our covenant. The man of execution, your signature. Rufio's blood and ink. As... A speaker of the Black Hand, I am directly a receiver of you and the group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. You must now go to the city of Chicken Hall, to the abandoned house near the eastern wall. Enter the basement and attempt to open the Black Door. You will be asked a question. Answer thusly. Say we, my brother. You will gain entrance to the sanctuary. Once inside, speak with Ochiva. We must now take our leave of each other, you and I. For there is much work to be done. I'll be following your progress. Welcome to the family. Awesome. And our first achievement on the video. Nice. You are now one. Awesome. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I find that pretty cool how Lucian's all invisible. It's pretty legit. Alright, so where to tune now? Oh, it was like over here, I think. Yep. Sweet deal. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be bonuses to the Dark Brotherhood. So, gotta do the bonuses. <laughs> the bonuses, it's like, how can you not want to do them like 
the bonuses are just really beneficial. Uh, where is this? Oh, right here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What? How is this? What? Okay, you know what? I got a plan. I was prepared for this. What the? Ironically, I barely failed on the hard locks, but I just, as you guys just saw, I failed a lot on that easy lock. Um, that is pretty, um, pretty bad. <laughs> oh, wow. Same voice, same door. Gotta love the Dark Brotherhood. I've gained entrance into the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I must now speak with Ochiva. Pretty sure she's a Argonian, right? Yep. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Ochiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucian has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you are ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, I have kept you long enough. Vicente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Silas go with you. Shrouded armor. Go now, dear family member. Whoa, check this guy out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But why, sister? Why should anyone? Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtier. I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself, who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end of the bargain. So it has always been. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Interested? Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaint. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaint in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh gosh, what was the... As a pirate, as a pirate, Gaston Toussaint... Oh man, I... farewell, brother. What was the bonus? I skipped it. Dang it. <laughs> was it?
Okay. Well, hopefully I didn't miss any bonus. If I miss a bonus, I'll just go back and redo it, cause... Gotta do the bonuses. What? Apparently that's not the right way. Alright, so hopefully this goes out um, according to plan. Alright then, so we got travel over here, I believe. Oh god. Oh. Run. Okay, so apparently those Oh, you. Oh, wrong spell. I right. hate. Not fair. Uh Okay, I may have failed the bonus. I'm not sure. I'm guessing the bonus is I have to not get caught. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, I'm just gonna carefully watch what you pick up. Your bounty will go up if someone catches you. I have gained access to the captain's cabin. I must now kill. Alright. Explaining yourself, mate, if you want to get off this ship alive. Oh, so you want to get cute, do you? <laughs> All right, then, mate, we'll do this the hard way. Um, yeah. Oh, God. Oh goodness. Run! <laughs> oh 
Okay, I'm... I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm running. What's new with you? Yeah, those pirates are jerks. I don't like them. Whoa, who died here? Oh, yeah, pirate. <laughs> what do you have? Ooh, this is worth a lot. Oh, I should have looted the pirate guy. Oh, well. Too late now. Yeah, sorry that I'm not really talking so much, it's just I'm so into this right now, so that's why I'm kind of not talking. Because, I don't know, it's just, I don't really know what to talk about. Oh, there's the guy we have to talk to. So, so the pirate, pirate has been eliminated. eliminated. Excellent. No one, no one will mourn his passing, passing. and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful for those who value it. Discretion. I'm glad, I'm glad you've returned. returned. The contract, the contract is waiting, if you're ready. We, we need you to stay Jan Axid. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. bonus. Do you accept this contract? As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Bane. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go, and may Sithis be with you. Alright, so apparently, this is kind of like, um, remember when you're killing the, that one girl in the Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim, and you pretty much kill her in the wedding? Well, how many of you guys actually got the gargoyle statue to fall on her? There were many playthroughs when I just killed her in different ways because, you know, you get tired of doing the same thing in seven playthroughs. But, um, yeah, I guess this is, um, related to that. And apparently we have to do it between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. So, gotta make sure we do this right and get the bonus. And we should be good. Pretty excited.